Hey y'all, it's Sarah with Sarah King Creates. As many of you know, I've moved recently to a new city, new place. So I've gotten the question a lot from my friends. Um, are you settled yet? And I would love to have been like, yes, I am. I've been here for what, two months now? However, it has been painstakingly slow process as far as getting unpacked and settled in my apartment. So the backstory is I moved from a house um, three bedroom house to a one bedroom apartment. So I had done a lot of purging, so I thought, before I left Houston. However, when I got here, you know, things are a little smaller in real life than they look in the picture sometimes. And so it hit me that like, oh, I don't think I've purged enough. But I was determined to fit the furniture that I had brought with me into this space. So I tried for three days in a row, kicking, shoving, moving things, practically breaking almost stuff because it really wasn't meant to be moved that many times. After one particular, particularly frustrating moment where I had tried to lay a six foot by nine foot rug in my living room that just wasn't happening in the right place, as well as move a credenza three or four times that should not be moved like that it was too fragile. After that moment, had the tough realization that this stuff was not going to fit in my living room. Have you all ever had that experience? So I was, which really isn't surprising, but what was surprising to me is my body's reaction to it. I was like almost in tears. I, I was so frustrated. I was like resisting this so much. And so that night as I was walking my dog and kind of thinking like asking myself, what is the big deal? Um, and I think a few things arose. One, you know, finances are, are not guaranteed and they're a little tight. So my thought of having to get all new living room furniture was a little overwhelming. Secondly, I had become attached to this furniture more than I knew. I had spent a lot of time um, and effort picking out items that I thought were perfect for my house. And I really liked that stuff, which is why I wanted to bring it with me. So then though, you know, that made sense, but it also was like, really, it's just stuff. Why is this so, why am I resisting this so badly? And I realized that although I had cleared this new space and cleaned it, um, I had shared with you all in a recent blog post about how I did that with some rituals that I did. One thing I realized though that I had neglected to do was ask this space, what do you want to hold? And I know the concept of asking an inanimate object might seem odd, but think about it as in, had I looked at this space as a blank canvas and wondering what would fit best, right? And the answer actually was no, I had not. I had been determined to fit my stuff into that little space. The stuff that I had picked out for another house. And so I stopped myself and I thought, okay, I really need to ask, this space, what does it want to hold? So I did. And the next day I looked at my, my little apartment with new eyes and immediately it was like, oh, I need lighter stuff. The this, this space is smaller, it needs to be brighter. It also needs to be a more calm color palette. My color palette before was very bold. It just wasn't gonna work for this space. Um, so not only the size, but also the colors. And I realized it needed to be a more calming space. And it was, it needs to be more neutral because outside here is so lush and so colorful and so bold and tropical. Um, and so that's really where the color is gonna be focused on is my like patio looking outside and inside to have more of a calm, um, I guess a more muted <laughs> color palette than what I'd had before. I was so surprised at how quickly that answer came. And I realized that I just hadn't asked prior. Otherwise, I'm sure it would have come just as quick. So since then, it renewed my energy to look at it with the new eyes, a new sense of purpose for this space. I sold all my living room stuff. I've been slowly re, you know, finding replace, replacements or just new things to, to put into the space that are lighter and that are smaller and that fit better in here. So all that to say, it made me also wonder in my life right now, what else am I trying to fit into this space? 
what else was designed for something else? And then I've been trying to just assume that it's gonna be here in this time in this space. So I invite you to ask these questions to yourself with me. Have I asked this space, this job, this relationship, um, this season of life, what it wants to hold? You know, I did this the other day with, with my partner. I, I did something that I thought he would appreciate. And he was like, oh, I was, you know, I was going to do it and I was going to do it this way. And I was like, oh, I guess I should have asked first. I should have asked, how do you want me to help you or support you in this, if at all? And maybe the answer is no, you don't need to be a part of that right now. So I would encourage you to ask along with me as I ask that about different aspects of my life right now. What would this space or thing or relationship or friendship, what would it like to have in it right now? What, it, what would it like to hold? And if you don't get an answer right away, don't worry, be curious. And I think that the, the answer will take shape. I think the answer will take form. I think it's more of a posture of not rushing in and just imposing our, our own, the things we did in the past on the, on the present. Let's let the present take its own shape.